is that me or is that me? Is that me or is that me? That's me. Where's the manual? Where's the manual? Did they have hidden cameras around when I was growing up? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I have a glass of wine. I'm gonna drink it to cheers. So, I began this channel because there's no representation for autistic black women. Where is it? I'm on my iPad. If you see me looking down, I'm on my iPad. Because that's how I found out I was autistic. My iPad. Basically, I had January exams. Terrible idea. I don't know why they instated January exams. I don't know. But, because I go to uni in London. Well, I used to go to uni in London. So the January exams were this new thing and COVID-19 quarantine was at play. So we had to take online January exams. So the date is January the 19th, 2021. I have screenshots. And the title of the article is Autism Symptoms in Girls. I was expecting it to say, I like it, I think. I like it. Reading this effing website and being like, huh? My whole life flashed before my eyes. And at that point, one week, one week before my 22nd birthday, one week before my 22nd birthday, Aquarius gang, February. First week of February. Three, highly intelligent. Four, seeing things at multiple levels, including her own thinking processes. Is that me or is that me? Is that me or is that me? That's me. Five, analyzing existence, the meaning of life and everything continually. And I was like, did they have hidden cameras around when I was growing up? <laughs> I'm just like, what is life? Why am I here? Why are we living? From the age of seven, that was the main thing on my mind, okay? The main thing on my mind all the time. And not just that, look at my degree. I am official, officially decorated with the degree of a bachelor's in biological sciences, the study of life. Serious matter of fact nature. Am I serious? Is that the name of the brightest star in the sky? Tip of everything. Doesn't simplify. Nope, everything is serious. Everything has a mean to me, everything is serious, everything has a meaning. Nothing is a joke, nothing is a joke, nothing is a joke. Get into that. Often gets lost in own thoughts, checks out blank stairs. If I was, if, as a kid, if I wasn't looking out the window, daydreaming about something, I would like freak out. Like, I have all of these motors running, they need some form of stimulus, which was daydreaming. Innocent, naive, honest, experiences trouble with lying, finds it difficult to understand manipulation and disloyalty. Like why? Why are you proud of your toxic traits? Why? The world would be a much better place without you in it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't. I don't get it. Feelings of being misplaced or from another planet. I'll drink to that. I loved reading about animals, insects, especially dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, I was, uh, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Escapes routinely through imagination, fantasy, and daydreaming. Check, 
Escapes through mental processing. Check. Escapes through rhythm of words. Check. 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 Like, I know I'm an old soul because all I would do at, for fun, for fun, to entertain myself, is come up with a theory. Oh, this is my theory about this. This is why, you know, trees do this. This is why humans do this. This is why human psychology is like this. Since I was like age 11, I've been doing that. That's not normal shit. Had imaginary friends, check. My dolls were real to me. I treated them like they were real people. I did not play with my dolls. I gave, I played with them like they were real. I would place them away nicely. I wouldn't do all that crazy drawing on their face, cutting their hair, putting them down the toilet. I didn't do any of that shit. <laughs> like Toy Story? Yeah. Treated friends as pawns in youth. Friends were students, customers, members. I did that. I definitely did that. Makes, makes friends with old people or young people. Yes! Yes! I'm busy! Escapes by playing the same music over and over. Check. Escapes through a relationship. Check. I definitely did not have friends in high school, but I had many good friends. Escapes through counting, categorizing, organizing, rearranging. Okay, Rue did this in Euphoria, and I'm like, go to them, is that you? Still? I think so. I think so. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. We'll watch it together. A lot of feelings inside, feels as if communication is never really like correct enough. I guess, ability of new friendships, confused about the rules of eye contact, body posture, proximity to other people, posture and conversation. Conversations are often exhausting. Take a sip for everything that applies to you. Con like analysis paralysis, it's analysis paralysis. Yeah, this for this part is just about like trouble socializing, which, duh, trouble socializing because what are the rules? What are the steps? Where are the instructions? Where's the guidebook? Where's the manual? Where's the manual? Where's the manual? Section F, finds refuge when alone. Feels extreme relief when doesn't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Talk to anyone, answer phone calls, leave the house. At the same time, feels guilty for hibernating. What did Issa say? It's a me season. It's a new season. Season. What's that seasoning? Oh, it's a me seasoning. Okay. One visitor at the home may be perceived as a threat. The amount of times people would come into our house and I'll be like, oh my God, I have to say hi. Oh my God, I have to say hi. I don't want to say hi. I'm going to mess this up. Like, oh my gosh, what? Like, I'm just going to mess this up. I just did. Knowing logically a house visitor is not a threat, but that doesn't help. Um, feelings of dread about an upcoming event on the calendar. All steps involved in leaving the house are overwhelming and exhausting. When I was like 12, when I was like 13, I would be like, okay, things that women do, they wear bags. But how do they keep up with it? I remember saying this to myself. How do they keep up with it? How do they not lose it? How do they know where it is? How do they know what, like, when they're gonna need it and like put all the things inside it and like keep everything inside and like not lose the things inside it? Like, how, what are the rules when it comes to maintaining a handbag? I distinctly remember having this thought when I was like 13 because that's when I first started wearing bags. So I was like, oh my gosh, like, how am I gonna adapt? Like, what is the solution? Nitpicky when it comes to the concept of time, being on time, tracking time, recording time, and managing time. This is a whole separate video. This is a whole separate video. Oh my gosh. Me and time. First of all, I, I personally am made of time. So that's what we are all made of. We are existing in time because we're in, 
a box of three dimensions and time is the fourth dimension. So the third dimension, the three dimensions are inside the fourth dimension. So everything is made of time. So we are made of time. Everyone has their own unique relationship with time. Personally, my relationship with time growing up was horrific. It was horrible. It was a war. It was a struggle. It was a battle. It was questions, next steps and movements continually. I just saw some birds that I've never seen before. Why were they neon green? Why did I just see some neon green birds? Okay. I'm busy. I just said that. I said I'm busy. How long until you're finished? An hour.